data from the existing iodocs any a particular if we want to search any specific iodoc uh, among the list of hundreds of iodoc then we can use transaction we19 so using this transaction uh, okay Today we will have an uh, today we will have overview about the IDOX. So if you want to check IDOX in system, we can check in WE02 or in WE05. Okay, WE02 or WE05. These two transactions we can uh, check IDOX mode. Let's open WE02. So in WE02 we have to enter the created on date in the date range where you want to see iodox let's see let's say i want to see iodox in last one year then a direction we can specify whether inbound or outbound iodox one is outbound and two is my inbound so and uh, so we can leave this uh, blank so both inbound and outbound iodox will be selected in this case then if you know the iodoc number and you want to see details then we can enter the iodoc number here and if we have multiple iodocs then we can create enter multiple iodocs here in the list then a status uh, so there will be iodocs with different status the successful iodocs or failed iodocs so let's say uh, for outbound iodoc we can select 03 so all the iodocs which are passed successfully from sap side okay for inbound iodocs we can use 53 so, so which iodocs which are successfully posted in sap inbound iodocs so for now we will leave this blank so all uh, the iodocs with all the different status will be selected here then uh, basic type or the iodoc type uh, if we want to see any specific one so there will be different types of iodocs like material iodoc mat mass then bat mass for batches you have order related iodocs delivery related iodocs so different uh, iodocs are there so we can select if we want to see any specific iodoc type okay then logical message similarly we can enter okay so this is also uh, message type okay so your message type you can enter here as well and uh, so either of these two fields we can use basic type or message type and then if you know the partner number or port number partner type all these details we can enter so for now we will let's say we want to check all the iodocs which are created in last two years both inbound and outbound and all the different iodocs all the iodocs with different status so now execute this so uh, i can see my outbound iodocs and inbound iodocs the so outbound iodocs are uh, those iodocs which are going out from sap to some external system okay so let's say maybe you are sending data to some external uh, system or any your, your system is linked to any 3pl system so the data so uh, the data will go through outbound iodox and inbound iodox when you are receiving uh, data from external system that will be posted through inbound iodox so let's say these all are different data uh, these are all different iodox so let's say this is some inventory related iodox and these four details, four iodocs I can see are posted. So to check more details about iodoc, click on the double, double click that iodoc. And then we can see here the segments of this iodoc. So we can check one by one all the different segments. So these are all the different data what this iodoc is carrying. Okay. So like here, I can see material number, works is your plant, material type. Okay, this electronic, your different details which are maintained in this segment. Similarly, I can see 
this is some cod replicate sales order so probably your orders which are created are going to some external system and then these IIL orders are created in your external system as well so here i can see my order details so all the different IDOC order details are stored in this different segments and then sent to external system here i can see status records so it will show that IDOC sent to sap system or external program so this means 03 status means it is successfully processed from our end so in WE02 you can see and in WE05 also you can see these two hundred transactions and let me increase the date range so in live system you will have a lot of IDOCs a lot of different IDOC types will be there and there will be uh, thousands of IDOCs now uh, the same information is available here as well uh, if i want to search any specific idoc then there is a transaction called uh, we19 okay so w no sorry we19 is to create a test idoc this i will cover shortly so let's see we09 so to search any idoc we have this transaction we09 so if i want to search any specific idoc uh, let's say I want to search IDOCs for this material. Okay, I want to search all the inventory related IDOCs uh, in VCON IDOCs which are sent for this material. So, one option is to check manually one by one, so which is not feasible in case there are hundreds or thousands of IDOCs. And second option is to use this transaction. So, what we will do? We will go to this transaction, then enter the IDOC direction. So this is an outbound IDOC. Enter your IDOC type. This is Invicon 2. So I can see Invicon 2, your message message type, uh, message type or basic type. Any one we can enter. So let's say if I'm taking message type, then I will enter this one. Okay, what is Invicon? Invicon inventory controlling IDOC. So this is related to inventory. And now here we have to, now this is the tricky part. Here we have to enter this uh, segment name. Okay, so segment name is, this is my segment name. Okay, even this I have to enter. So in this segment, I want to search this field, Matinar. And this is my material number. So, in this message type, in this date range, outbound IDOC, for this message type, I want to search uh, in this segment, this material and this material number. So, basically, all the IDOCs uh, with this material number in this message type should now be searched. I can see system has picked two two such IDOCs. One was sent sent one was sent on twelfth, another was sent on twenty first. Okay. So now let's see one. Let's take one more example. So here I can see there are a lot of COD replicate sales orders IDOCs. Let me open any one IDOC. So I want to search an IDOC. I want to search IDOC which is sent for this document number. Okay, so I can check manually one by one all the IDOCs and search for this sales order number. So this is probably a sales order number. Let us go to VA03. Okay, so this is my one sales order number. So now this sales order number is sent to some external system using this IDOC. Let's say I want to find out IDOC. Uh, for this specific sales order number so here i have list of so many uh, sales orders so i'll go here and then the process is same go to we09 and here this outbound direction one message type will change this is my message type so i will change my logical message to my this order one and then I have to search in the segment. Segment details I have to give. So here, these details are in my header segment itself. So I will copy the header segment. 
okay so this is my header segment and these are all child segments or sub segments you can see uh, this is my header segment in header segment the field number is field name is doc number so here doc number and then the sales order number this now we will execute this so now as you can see system has now searched for this idoc and uh, i can see now details here idoc related to this detail so similar way you can search for any idoc which you need to find in your production system and uh, hopefully this will help you now this is there is another transaction called we19 so we19 is uh, used when you want to create a copy of your existing idoc okay let's say this is one idoc this is one inbound or out inbound or outbound you can do for both so this is one outbound idoc and i want to create a copy of this idoc for my testing purpose so this we should not use in production this is only for your testing test systems so now uh, we will enter the idoc number and then execute this after this select here and then we will se select on outbound pro outbound processing okay so idoc sent to external system so here i can see this is my new idoc number which is created and the same data is sent to external system with a new idoc number so and if you want to do uh, any changes to data also that is also possible so we can before triggering the outbound if you want to change any data here in the idoc details that changes will happen and then we can do it we can trigger to external system similarly for inbound systems uh, let's say let me take one inbound example okay so let's say this is my one inbound idoc so this for inbound this is more useful let's say you want you are doing some testing in uh, your, your quality or in dev system and uh, you do not have access to external system or you are dependent on external system for testing so directly we can do our testing using this uh, transaction if we have a successful idoc number then we can uh, just change the data that we want to you know, test you using the external system so let's say you want to change the material or you want to change any quantity or something then directly you can change here in the inbound idoc and then you can do the standard standard inbound so again a standard inbound will be uh, created so a copy of your idoc will be created with the changes what you have done or you can use re-trigger the same one then you have another transaction called bd87 okay so many times uh, some idocs will fail in the system okay so then after so we will first do the analysis that why this idoc has failed so let's say uh, in my matmas this let me see why did it has failed so this uh, will go to details and here in message i can see uh, it will give me the error log so i will see the error log here and after resolving the error log let us see we can use this for both inbound and outbound scenarios Uh, let's say there is a, any failed idoc and we want to reprocess it so first of all we have to do uh, correction uh, for that idoc failure basically why that idoc is failed so once that correction is done and uh, then after that one what we need to do we have to go to transaction bd87 okay so bd87 is transaction to retrigger or to process your failed idox so what we will do we will enter that idox number here after the date after the error is fixed and then we will execute this select that idox and then process it 
so currently since the error was still uh, it was not resolved so again it has failed so in in real time system let's say if any idoc has failed due to any master data issue so once you maintain that master data and then when you reprocess it so this will be successful so the status will change to 03 if it is outbound and 53 if it is inbound okay so that is how bd87 will be used.